And we begin on this Friday morning with new details on a bill to help victims of Hurricane Sandy's impact. After the House failed to take up the measure at the end of the last session, the newly sworn in Congress is putting it at the top of their agenda. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now in our studio with those details. Well, Danielle and Patrick, two months after that devastating superstorm Sandy hit Rhode Island and other parts of the country, many victims are still waiting for aid. Today, though, could be a big step for them in Congress. The House is expected to pass a $9.7 billion bill to provide aid to victims of the superstorm on Friday, later today. Many members of the old Congress were hoping for an agreement on the aid package earlier this week, but it was never put to a vote in the previous session. A Senate Democratic leadership aide says the Senate will follow up with a likely uncontested vote later in the day. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi is in our nation's capital for the vote. He explains why the events earlier this week in the House could have an effect on the timing of Rhode Island's aid. There is money in there for Rhode Island and for uh, other hard hit areas in the Northeast, but it could take a couple weeks for all the money that had been expected to come through to actually get through Congress because of what happened earlier in the week. Now, FEMA says that more than 500 Rhode Island households have already registered for Sandy assistance. The deadline for applicants is a week from Monday, January 14. Live in the studio, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.